Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create source and target connection in Informatica Power Center Designer. Okay. First, we have to go to Informatica Power Center Repository Manager and connect to the particular repository that you want to work on. I'm going to connect on my Amazon tutorials. Connected. I already have a folder. If you want to know how to create a folder, you can watch my other video that I have made previously. OK. Now, once we are. In the Amazon, you know, in the repository. You can create on designer. Here is a designer. So designer window will appear. We'll have this. Window. OK. If you see now, OK, uh, let me uh, do like this. OK, it will be like this before. Expand it. There will be a folder. In the folder, there are many of uh, you know components. There is a business source, target, cubes, dimensions, transformation, maplet, mapping and user. So for we are going to concentrate on sources and target in this particular video. OK, so right now there are no sources and targets, right? In this particular video, we are going to look how to source. Databases, OK. Now what I will do, OK, before that we have to understand this as well. This is a source analyzer. This is target analyzer. These are the two things right now we require. When we try to. Connect the source and target, OK, leave about these three. I will cover it in the later part of the videos. OK. Now. If you notice. Right now I am in target designer When I am on target designer. I have the target option here. Right. If I go to source, then I will have a source. So first I will take the source. I click on the. In this video, we are going to import the database. That is why I'm choosing database. OK. You will get this pop up. What are the options we have here? Connect to a database or OBDC data source. First, we need to source. So right now, when I click on this drop down, there are only two options, right? So what if I want to add a source that is, you know, my local machine has? Well, right now I have Oracle, so Oracle I don't see here, right? Click on these three dots. You will get this window. Click on this add. Now here, choose the, you know, appropriate source. OK, mine is Oracle. So I'm going to choosing Oracle wire protocol. Click on OK. Here, source name, I will write as Oracle source. OK. Description is not mandatory. Host, local host, port number 1521, ST, OK, SID is XE. Uh, if you guys are using different one, you can, you know, you have to provide the, the, the applicable one. For example, ORCL. And the port number will be almost same, I believe. OK. Now, Test connection. OK, here you have to provide the. Database that you are bringing the data from. OK, username I am bringing it from HR data. Database and I'm going to put that password as well. Let's try. Connection established. If this is coming, then you are good to go. OK, if there are any you know, difficulties that you guys face, Please comment. I will try to resolve it. OK. Reply. OK. Now I have the source. 
the same way I also should have the target as well. Click again. I have the same oracle. OK, this time I'll put. Target. Description is not mandatory. Since I'm running on the same you know, system, I'm going to put again local host. My bad, I wrote location. OK, port number will be same. 521 SID. OK, test connection here. The target will be my one of the different you know, um, database, which is called core. So this is the database I'll be using as my core database. Right now there are no tables, but it will come. I will tell you guys in the later part of the videos. OK, so this is my other table. OK. I'm going to put core. And trusted. If the connection connection established, then you are good. Click apply and OK. All right. Now we have source and target both. Click on OK. Here. You have to connect the database. OK. So first I will choose my source which is HR. The username is HR and the owner also HR. You put the password and I will connect it. If the connection is successful, you will have the tables here. Expand it. I have all these tables. I'm going to select all. You can select individually also. I'm going to select everything at one shot. And then click OK. Now we have all the sources here. If you notice, all the sources have Oracle in the bracket. That means the source is from the database. What you can do is you can right click in the other space and just clear it. So now what you have to save it. Once you save, have a look here. See. Source Oracle inserted. All these tables have been inserted. OK, you have to you should you, you make sure that you are saving every changes that you make here. OK, now we will go to target. In the target, as I said, there are no tables yet, right? Let's go to my. Database. And what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to create a. Tables using admin. OK. Select. OK, so what we have to select is employees, right? All these tables we have, we have to make a table. I will just make one. OK, for time being select HR dot. Countries from. My bad. Select everything from HR dot. Entries. OK, let me show you guys how to create a dummy table. Well, I guess I have it somewhere here. Let me just have a look. OK, wait. I will be having it here. All right. So how do I create a duplicate? This thing, yeah, here it is. I forget these codes, man. <laughs> OK, so now we have to create a table in the target side. So create this tables. What I'm going to do is OK, I will use the code table only. Code. 
employees as select from HR table. OK. That's wrong. Now if you go to a uh, core, there were no tables right earlier. Now if I refresh, there will be one table that is employees, right? Like this, we have to create all the other other tables. OK, let me do it here only. It's very easy. Actually. OK, we had HR and what else? It's the first OK. Now I'll do countries. OK, countries copy. Countries OK. Then we have depart. Departments. OK, I hope I have spelled it correctly. Just paste it here. OK, departments. Then what do we have? We have employees. Employees, we have already done that. So job history. Job history, right? I hope I have typed it correctly. OK, job history. And the next one is jobs. OK, I'm sure this one I will be typing correctly. It's a small word. <laughs> And then now we have two more. Uh, that is. OK. That is. Locations. And region. Okay, seven tables are there. Locations. Region. My word. Let's run all this. OK, uh, ignore those errors because I have already created employees and jobs. So that is why they are showing. But anyways, I'll just show you guys the uh, core table now. We should be having seven tables there. OK, let me refresh. One, two, three, four, five, six. OK, there is one table missing that should be a region. So what happened to the region? It's hard out region. OK. Create table code D. OK, let me try this. OK, what does this say? OK, it's regions. I believe. Yeah, now it is created. So which means we have all the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So that's how you create the table. Okay. Now we will go back to the uh, designer. So right now you see only sources, right? All those seven sources. Let's bring those uh, targets as well. Click database here. We la last time we choose source. Now we choose target. Core is the table name and put the password that you have given. Again, same thing. Take all these. And click on OK. You will have all the target tables now. If you look at these tables as well, just the color is different, but the Oracle is already is there because it's coming from the database and save it we have inserted the target as well so that's how you create a source and target connections in informatica using target designer and source designer okay next video we will be working on the first mapping that will be table to table thank you